All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do problem 11. So problem 11 says, find the value of k so that the line x plus y equals k is tangent to the graph of y equals x squared plus 3x plus 1. So first thing, let's write what's given. All right, they give us two graphs or two equations. They give us this equation, which I'm going to solve for y. We have y equals k minus x. And we have this equation, x squared plus 3x plus 1. All right, what is it that they want now? They want us to find the value of k so that this line is tangent to, to this uh, polynomial, because you have x squared. So in order for those two to be tangent, their derivatives must be the same, right? Because if the slopes are the same, so you have m1 here for this one, and m2 here for this one, that means the derivative of this guy must equal the derivative of this guy, since we know that m is equal to f prime of x. All right? OK, so let's go ahead and take the root of this guy first. So then we have y prime is equal to some constant that's 0. The derivative of x is just minus 1. And the derivative of this one is going to be 2x plus 3. OK, so then we, go to, we have to go ahead and make them equal to each other. So we got to make this one equal to this one. OK, so minus 1, or 2x plus 3 is equal to minus 1. OK, what is this going to do? We're going to find the x value. And that's a good thing. So if we can find the x value, we can go ahead and plug it in here, and we'll find the y value. Now, if we have the x and y value, we can plug it in here and find k. And we're done. OK, so let's go ahead and solve this. Move it through to the other side. We get 2x equals minus 4. Divide both sides by 2. We get that x is equal to minus 2. Perfect. So now we have the x value. So let's go ahead and plug the x value in here. So this was to find x. Finding x here. So finding x is this. Now let's go ahead and do finding y. OK, to find y, go ahead and plug this x value back in here. So y is equal to negative 2 squared plus 3 times negative 2 plus 1. OK, let's go ahead and compute that. Negative 2 squared, that's 4. 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6 plus 1. OK, so 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 minus 6, y equals negative 1. Okay, so now we have x equals negative 2, y equals negative 1. Now we can find k because we can plug in y and x, and we'll find k. So now, finding k. Okay, so we have y equals k minus x, but we have y is negative 1, and we have x is negative 2. So we have negative, negative 2, that's negative 1 k plus 2, move the 2 to the other side, we obtain that, we obtain that negative 3 is equal to k. Therefore, at k equals negative 3, plug it into here, and that's your equation.